Good day everyone, welcome to the Raw Review, October 29th. First up, we got Baron Corbin comes out of the ring to address the WWE Universe regarding the Universal Championship. Suddenly, Brock Lesnar comes out of nowhere, a lot with his advocate Paul Heyman. Heyman says, spoiler, regarding Crown Jewel, Lesnar is going to be having the Universal title back on his shoulder. Braun Strowman comes out of the ring and gets on the ring. Braun says he'll be the one with the Universal Champ, but Lesnar is going to get these hands. Lester and Braun come face to face, turns his attention back to Corbin and gives him a running power of slam. The crowd chants one more slam and then Braun gives Corbin another one. Lester grabs him and gives him the F5. Next up we get Finn Balor vs Bobby Lashley. Oh Finn Balor, what are you gonna do? Leo rushes in Lashley's score, talks some trash to Balor on the mic. Baylor goes to on top again and Leo Rush thrusts him back to the backside, the ringside floor, the ref calls for the bell, winner by DQ, Finn Balor. Next up we have Drew Stratus, Lita and Natalia, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Mickey James, Alicia Fox, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. Wow that was a mouthful. So all the women brawl on the ringside, everyone, the baby face team seems to be in control. Why are we even having this match? I have no idea. Natalia and Lita fall off with a heart attack double on Alicia. Natalia applies a sharpshooter for the win via submission on Lita. Next up we get an Elias segment. Elias is in the ring. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Jinder Mahal comes out of nowhere and attacks Elias from behind. Jinder beats down Elias and then Gorman comes out and informs Elias that he and Jinder are in a match together. Some may think he has a cheap shot on Elias from the outside, Sneal distracts the ref. Jinder misses a shot in the corner, Elias catches him and drifts away for the three count. Ascension vs Bobby Roode and Chad Gable vs The Order of Pain. Again, I have no idea why this match is happening, but hey, G Gable and Roode double team German suplex for the three count on Victor after a short match. Then, after the match, The Order of Pain beat down Roode and Gable and they hit the Super Collider. Except we get Seth Rollins is in the ring. Rollins wonders if Ambrose is turning on him was his fault because Rollins turned on him four years ago. Rollins says he knows where to find Ambrose and that's in the ring, and he asks Ambrose to come to the ring and explain himself. Ambrose music hits, then suddenly we see Ambrose standing in the crowd. Rollins calls Ambrose a cold-hearted bastard. He spit on everything the shield stood for. Gordon threatens to go up the crowd, but he decides against it and makes his exit out of the arena. Next up we have Nia Jax vs Ember Moon. Where we get Ember Moon, starts so strong, they get back in the ring, this Nia starts fighting back. Tamina's music hits and distraction leads to Nia punching Ember down. Nia falls up with a running leg draw for the tree cap. Next up we get the Revival vs Kalisto and Dorado. Smash and Frank Light didn't care for it. Next up we get Dolph Ziggler who comes to the ring and is accompanied by Drew McIntyre. Dolph talks about the World Cup tournament. Next up we get a Polar Cruise vs Dolph Ziggler. This is a very quick match where Ziggler wins and it's a tree count, nothing of any consequence. Next up we have the last segment of the match, we get Kane and Utter come out to the stage, take our picks up the mic, says it's not easy to read the end, but when the Reaper calls, it's your time to go no matter how hard you fight. Kane gets on the mic and they talk about beating DX at Crown Jewel. The DX music hits and Triple H comes out on top. Kane starts heading towards Triple H on the ramp and then Shawn Michaels runs in the ring out of nowhere and super kicks Undertaker. Taker zips up and hits the music, Shawn and back up the ramp. What do you guys think of that? Comment below, let me know.